Oh, hey, girl. <laughs> Hi, Virgo. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot, Virgo males and females. This is going to be your love reading for March 2018 for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If the reading does not resonate with you um, and you need more, uh, have a deeper situation, just check the description box below. Um, that shows you all the ways you can contact me, okay? So I'm doing a different spread uh, this month. I just wasn't feeling the Celtic Cross spread and so I thought I would just do the star cross. I don't even know if that's a thing. I just made it up. Anyway, um, I'm using the Romance Angels deck and I'm going to clarify with my mini Rider Waite deck. Okay. So, oh, Virgo. Let's see what's going on. <clears throat> Okay, so your past position, some of you may have reached out to someone, expressed how you felt. Something told you it was okay to do that. You either asked for what you want, wanted or expressed how you felt about another person. opened yourself up maybe to a fire sign um, hold on one second I think my battery is starting to die on my computer so uh, it's been dying quicker and quicker and I haven't plugged in and I'm very sorry. I can't pause the video or I lose it. Anyway, expressing your love maybe to a fire sign or someone with fire in their chart. Um, so they could be any sign and have like a fire rising, moon, Venus, or um, it, it is a fire sign. Okay. Um, or that person expressed their feelings for you. I feel like it was very victorious kind of a situation. It felt good. Um, however, this ex the, the romantic gesture or however the expression was made, it, it felt good. You felt like you were, you know, winning. You know, or, or you did this to someone else and it gave them a big ego boost <laughs> in the past. The current situation is children. Your love life is being affected by children. Now, when I look at this card, okay, there's a lot of different meanings with this card. So here's what I'm going to tell you. Some of you have children and have a relationship or a situation where the children have to be considered. Or some of you are acting very childish with your childish partner the relationship you're both childish or you're dealing with someone who's childish or you've been acting childish or the relationship um, is brand new in a sense where you know like, like maybe three or four years old or you know whichever um, is at that point right now okay so there's a lot of different ways that that card can be taken clarify I've got the lovers okay in the world it's so easy to go from a negative situation to a positive but you've got a positive back here Um, there's there's a piece missing though there's I feel like there's something missing um, there's something to, there's a, a family issue happening okay there's a desire to be together you and another person but the children are coming first and or a child is coming first and and that situation needs to be considered or 
you and the other person made the decision that you wanted to stay together. Despite the issues or, you know, we'll be making the decision to stay together despite the issues with children. Um, I feel like somebody's adopting or is looking into meeting someone who's at a distance that has children or has a child. Maybe there was an expression. Maybe some of you were in long distance relationships and there's been a lot of love expression happening online. And now there's an opportunity to meet this person who has children or a child. Or this relationship is graduating from a childlike state to a more mature state. Okay, this might have been like the whole puppy love kind of thing, if, if you understand what that means, depending on what country you're from. Just that feeling of um, extreme happiness and, you know, gloating. <laughs> you know, that feeling you get when, you know, you meet someone that's so great and you're just head over heels for them or everything's pink and roses, that kind of energy, if someone has expressed their love to you. So... What's driving is the Healing Family Issues card. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So something to do with parents, family, children. Healing a family situation. For those of you who are... So that I was just asking internally what I feel, because I said to you that I feel there's a missing link. I was feeling something was missing. And so I feel like some of you have been having financial trouble. Okay, and that's why, um, that's why, I, it's not like I'm looking for something negative, but it's just that when everything's going so beautifully for you, <laughs> why are you listening to a tarot card reading, you know, but... There was some issue, some type of issue. There's love, love abounds, that's there. There's the feeling of caring about each other and loving each other, even though there are children involved and there could be some, some financial issues within your marriage that have to do with the child or children that make it very difficult, that just causes difficulty and um, but I see you two um, sticking together, despite you know every despite everything that's going on. Look, because the children card here, there's there's oh, you can't see it the glare. There's two two people here, and then the lovers has two people, and then the um, five of pentacles has two people. Even though they're out in the cold, they're still together, right? To heal this, this family thing. So, and, 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 the, and some of the reason why I was feeling like there was um, a missing piece is because of that reconciliation card being up there. So let me just pull one more card here. Okay, with the family, family healing family issue card. There may have been like something to do with family where there was a lack of finances or someone wasn't helping something or someone and it was a stalemate situation that left you and another person out in the cold. Um, so the reconciliation could come with uh, healing a family situation, okay? And this can go for those of you who are single or in a relationship. Okay, so the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. So some of you are dealing with a, a water, um, an air sign. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, male or female, um, reconciling with this person to uh, get 
getting the truth from this person about I feel like what they've done with some money or something with a business. I know this isn't all around romantic, but I'm just giving the message as I can. Or some truth coming out from this Queen of Swords about what was done with some money. Or something to do with a business or a family business or a business um, and something to do with this children I'm, I'm not sure it's hard to pick up this reading is it's like um, somebody owes money somewhere and something to do with children that's what I feel like um, and I feel like it's going to be resolved um, there may have been someone another parent in the situation or someone who wasn't working and is now finally working and is able to pay something or um, some of you if you're single and you just have a partner could be getting married or talking about marriage or talking about traveling but there are some issues at home that need to be dealt with first before moving forward and there needs to be money coming from somewhere someone is lacking a bit of money to be able to do this because of children or because of someone not being honest with their in their dealings uh, but is now going to be truthful and honest about financial situation so the retreat card is coming up for you in the near future it's time to disconnect from the world okay so I feel like whatever all this energy is there's a little bit of drama happening here there's going to be an opportunity with you and the another person to bow out together maybe you know as I was saying take a trip and the hangman is here so really just you know seeing to yourself well you know both of you just saying okay well that's that and I don't want to deal with it and there's nothing I can do you know we've done all we can do let's just go let's just go do what you know we want to do let's just go be together that kind of energy coming through the king of cups so water sign energy here male female cancer scorpio pisces you're retreating with um again as i was saying it could be a water sign with fire in their chart or fire with water in their chart either way there was some type of expression of love in the past and both of you wanting to be together uh, the, the relationship kind of starting new and then graduating now into the lovers where it's maturing and that part of the past now is closed and now you're moving forward but there's some issues to deal with some healing it could be Virgo that you have some healing to do within yourself that you haven't wanted to deal with right some emotional healing from a family environment that you uh, needed to deal with or there's a feeling that you, maybe your family won't care for your partner if you decide to move forward with them and they might cut you off financially or um, you know they might leave you out in the cold and say you're on your own and you might just have trouble deciding how to having difficulty in dealing with that um, but there is some type of reconciliation and then you know things just kind of leveling off and you finding peace with your your uh, significant other or new partner going off with them somewhere I just felt like pulling another card 
Yeah, the chariot is just like a travel card, a trip. Someone may be coming to see you so they can spend time together or vice versa, or you're both going away together. There could also be, you know, if there was some difficulty in the relationship where you couldn't be together because children or a child was involved and this situation needed to be healed, there could be a queen of swords who comes in and, and you know, helps out to help you both reconcile. Uh, or this person is like a third party to help your other person uh, try to work things out. They talk some sense into them, give them the bare bones of it or... You know, this is someone you're dealing with who just finally, you know, says, hey, you know, we've got fire, you have water, and you have air here. So there's quite a few different players, a lot of people involved during this month, but I feel like, you know, some of you could also be deciding that, you know, you love this person, but because of a huge responsibility to children you may need to end a relationship so that that person can deal with their family issues because you you may be involved with someone who has children and they are not putting their children first they are putting you first or they're putting other things or their lifestyle first and they're not taking care of their children and you may be finding that you know, completely just, you're not happy about that. And you may decide you want to end this connection with them because you don't like the way they're behaving. They're not taking care of their children. Your thought process could be, of, well, if you're not going to take care of your children, how are you going to take care of me? You know, or they need to not be in this relationship right now. Uh, they want to be, but they need to like put it on hold so that they can do the things they need to do uh, to take care of that. They could have um, an ex who's, you know, some of them could be re reconciling with their ex, not necessarily romantically, but uh, trying to reconcile the finances that has to do with the children, that kind of stuff. But I am seeing uh, you and the other person in the near future taking a trip together, retreating like a getaway, and reconnecting to each other in the near future, or sometime maybe the end of March and April. So there's a lot of different messages for you, Virgo, that um, you will have to just sort out <laughs> somehow, some way. If you can't, you know, of course, you could always get a reading from me, and I'll be more than happy to help you. Okay, so I'm going to end your reading there. I hope that you have a wonderful month of March, and I will see you in April. All right, thanks. Bye.